here on Cape Cod, uh, bottom fishing. Now, this is a very versatile lure to keep in your box. I'd like to talk about the Squino jig. It makes an excellent inshore ground fishing jig. Uh, they're particularly effective on large scup. Some people call them porgy and also sea bass. So this is an excellent jig. It's about two and a half ounces. Just let it down to the bottom, unlike here. You can rig them with a small bucktail or treble. fishing in about 15 feet of water on some structure and there's some sea bass holding. It makes an excellent inshore ground fishing jig. Now they come in a holographic and a glow series. For whatever reason the glow series is my personal favorite and uh, this year the uh, here on Cape Cod the pink has been working uh, a little better than the rest but uh, pink and olive are two of the most popular inshore bottom fishing colors. You just let it down to the bottom. These jigs weigh a little over two and a half ounces. And they don't need to be fished fast. It's just a real slow retrieve. I lift the tip, drop it. Sometimes it's a short twitch. But just, just a real subtle action. It's a short little jig motion like that. Yeah, it doesn't take much. Just a slow little twitch. We're here in Buzzards Bay. We're not in very deep water. It is excellent sea bass fishing. Today we're using them for bottom fish, but these jigs are very effective on bluefish, striped bass, bonito, false albacore. It's a good all-purpose jig to have in your box.